to pre-shrink or not to pre-shrink? That's the question, and it's one that quilters debate worldwide. There are advantages and disadvantages to both. Quilts are primarily made from 100% cotton fabric, and cotton will typically shrink up to 3%. That means if you've made a quilt that finishes at 100 inches, there's a possibility that after you wash it, it could shrink down to as much as, or as little, I should say, as little as 97 inches. So you're going to lose three inches on that quilt. If you haven't allowed for that on a bed quilt, all of a sudden your quilt isn't long enough to cover the sides of the bed. So you may need to either make your quilt longer to begin with, or you may want to pre-shrink it first so that there will be little to no further shrinkage. There will always be some shrinkage with a quilt because the batting shrinks. So you want to, if you're going to pre-shrink your quilt, look for a batting that has around 1% shrinkage and you will still get a little of that crinkly look but not as drastic. I primarily tell people if you pre-shrink one component, pre-shrink them all. So if you shrink your backing, make sure you're shrinking your front fabrics. By doing that, you will keep the pristine look of your quilt and it will have that more um, finished look, uh, first finished look, I should say, where uh, the fabrics are not as crinkly if everything's been pre-shrunk. With today's fabrics, you don't have to worry so much about um, bleeding of the fabrics in the wash or the uh, crocking of the fabric. Sometimes you may have a difficulty with a very deep color like black, blue, even a deep burgundy. Uh, a test that you can do is take a piece of white fabric, rub it over your dark fabric. If any dye comes off, then you may want to go ahead and pre-shrink it for color fastness. Another test is to cut a square of fabric, oh, just you know, a couple inches, and put it in hot water. If the dye comes out, then you know that you're going to have problems with that dye bleeding onto your finished product. So you would want to pre-shrink that and make sure all the dye's out. I have not found that problem with most commercial fabrics, but sometimes with hand-dyed fabrics, if you have not thoroughly rinsed them, you will have problems. Uh, I had a problem with a customer quilt one time where I sprayed just a little bit of uh, cold water on it to take care of the uh, needle marks from the needle where I had to uh, unsew a portion and by spraying a little bit of cold water on it, it usually uh, literally makes the fibers come back together and she had not gotten all of the dye out of her hand dyed fabric and it started to bleed over onto the white fabric. Needless to say, it, it was uh, not a good situation and we had to do some work to uh, get the quilt looking back like it was when, when I first got it. Um, but be aware of those exceptions to the rule. Now, if you don't pre-shrink your fabric and then after the quilt is made, it gets washed over and over, such as this sweet little baby quilt, you can see how it gets that wonderful old-fashioned look. It gets that soft uh, quilted feel. And the more it gets washed, the more it shrinks and the more it just, oh, it just feels wonderful. So if you want that true quilt feel, don't pre-shrink your fabrics. Let the uh, washer do its magic once the quilt is finished. Now, there are exceptions to every rule. And so I will give you a couple more guidelines. When it comes to flannel, I recommend pre-shrinking it. That's because flannel is very, very linty. And also, as you can see here, flannel ravels. And so you, you don't want to get all that lint in your sewing machine. And flannel will definitely shrink. So um, I think it's better if you go ahead and pre-shrink flannel. Again, another exception to the rule. Um, when I was stationed in the South, I learned this wonderful wor word called penzon. And when somebody says, you know, should you pre-shrink your fabric? I say penzon. It just pens on whatever you're going to be doing. Um, 
and what you're working with. So the general rule of thumb is it's quilter's preference. The one rule of thumb that is an absolute no-no is if you are working with pre-cuts, any kind of pre-cuts, whether they're charm squares, layer cakes, jelly rolls, do not pre-shrink these. You will have a disaster in your washer, especially the jelly rolls. These are long strips that are two and a half inches by 42 inches long, and they get wrapped around each other, they get tied, they get knotted, and they will ravel even more than what they already are, and you will lose your true two and a half inch width, and definitely lose the crispness. Uh, the same with the pre-cut um, charm packs and layer cakes, even though they have the pinked edges, they're going to ravel, and especially, again, if it's a flannel one, uh, even though it's flannel, and I said to pre-shrink it, you don't want to do it with your pre-cuts. So I'm sure the argument will rage on even with my guidelines, but at least it will give you a little more information before you decide should you pre-shrink or not.